it comes a point that you have to start making choices and start narrowing yes. the choices because you have to become somebody and you cannot be everybody. I used to suffer from yes. this thing where I thought if I choose a path, I miss out on many other paths and I became jack of all trades, master of none. Yes. And in the end I decided, yes. no, what resonates with my heart stronger? Metaphysics, go for it. And I started with metaphysics and what happened is that I narrowed all my paths into that. And from that, I started to touch every other aspect because when you mm. go too deep into one aspect, you start understanding physics, chemistry, maths, languages, philosophy, because there is a core of truth that all the fields uh, resonate together. And so when I used to have public speaking clients, they used to say, I'm going to give you an economy based uh, speech. You are not going to understand anything. Else. And I used to say, go for it. And then I would start asking questions. Okay, so this, and they go, how do you understand? I said, I don't know how I understand. I just do, I just get it. It's like, oh, suddenly your mind goes, push, and it opens up mm. to understand. So I just wanted to say about Parisha, See, yes. work with cosmic energies because you know how cosmic I am, how Arcturian, yeah, yeah. Pleiadian, I don't know what, I come from the future, I bring healing, and see just like twists and tags and dust, whatever, and you remember how many times I would release layers and I would just shift all the time at such speed, but everybody's in a point of the evolution and people who've done a lot of work, personal work, have released a lot of liars. And it makes me think of the visual of a balloon. The more you work on your shadow and release it, the more you float high, 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 and the lighter you are on your feet to be able to embrace and integrate. A lot of things that seem contradictory, like Luciana was just saying. And now suddenly, I'm really excited to see it's all linked. So now you can start working practically, in practical terms, with yes. these aspects. Well, I'll, I don't have a conclusion only because I haven't done it pro like the way you've advised us to do it. I've okay. done it previously, but yes. it was very vague. Yeah. I like like the way Luciana has done it. Yes. She's really spread out and, and actually has have had realizations and all of that. I am also, as you know, every day learning and I'm working with my shadow self every day and things are shifting for me. When I see you one on one, I'll explain to you more. Yes. So I have a better of idea of where I want to go, but I need I just need a few days to do it and then yes, I can maybe fine. very briefly present it to you again or do it privately in the video or share with yes. the group no, that's fine. next time. All I can just say is that I'm going I'm gonna focus on uh, my energy energy light work and I'm gonna bring in healing through the kinesiology and through the sound and, and just focus more in that direction for me for now. Because what I was thinking is that once you have your four or five or three or two, whatever many aspects and the synonyms yeah. and the list of words that are referring to each area of your life, then when opportunities yeah. come and things start appearing, you put them in their corresponding column ah, or space yes. or radius. Oh, like a pie, like a pie. Yeah, like your piece like of the pie. pie. So yes. you yes. apply it in the piece of the pie and suddenly that piece of the pie starts populating and now you start mm. seeing what people want or need from you and whether you want to offer that to the world or not. Just to give you an example, when I started, I put in Gumtree 18 adverts, 18 adverts of every single thing I could even do, even knitting and teaching, anything and everything. And I realized like the Pareto principle 80% of people wanted 20% of the aspect, which was life coaching, public speaking, languages teaching. And I thought, what am I doing with the rest? I let go of the rest. And I started to focus on those three aspects. That took me to okay. uh, Toastmasters, Distinguished Toastmaster, Metaphysics PhD, uh, my two YouTube channels and this and that. So can you see how you start containing and focusing your energies, mm. start feeling strongly and then you are able to let go of the other aspects and say i love you very much but i only have two hands and 24 hours a day so i may yes, use it yes. as a hobby but you know what and what happens is that as you specialize you start getting real satisfaction because you get mm. shot into the deep into the bottom of an aspect that you feel you know or, or, or you can swim freely like a like dolphin in the sea and some people will say, wow, that's so difficult. And you go, yeah, I'm swimming backwards, I'm swimming forwards, I'm swimming sideways. <laughs> I'm free. 
expressing yourself yes. in the environment that it feels your new comfort zone, it feels recognizable, familiar, uh, yours. That's what we are doing. Yes. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. 